guys, it's Bethany with Plan with Bethy Dean, and this week we are going to be planning Monday, March 25th through Sunday, March 31st. I can't believe we are already in the end of March. This week is a special week because as you can see right here, I have a kit from Little Annabelle's Plants called Plantastic, and it is actually a collab that all of the PR girls from little Annabelle's plans are getting together and we wrote a list of questions I have my questions right here so about our favorite planner goodies and things like that so let's go ahead and get started so this week it is I'm still doing my vertical I love it so let's go ahead and lay down the washing now this kit is made specifically for the happy planner she does have kits that are sized for Erin Condren. So, and these are so cute. They have scissors and washi tape, or this one doesn't have the washi tape. This one has the planner stack and the pens. Our first question is, what is your all-time favorite planner? Oh, that's a hard one. Um, that is, that's a really hard one because I like them all. Um, but I would have to probably say my all-time favorite was the... In 2017, 2018, there was a Happy Planner that came out with a baby blue cover, or not baby blue, it was more of like a teal color that had um, white or off-white polka dots on it, and it was just so pretty, and the inside of it was, was beautiful. I loved it. Um, Let's go ahead and take the meal plan. Um, stickers, and that was my favorite. The neutral coloring in it was, I loved it, and it had floral, and for somebody who's not really a floral person, that was um, my most favorite planner, and I, I still have it saved, even though um, I don't use it so we are gonna get out the meal plan so this is Lucia and then these are the foil stickers that say meal plans give a little wiggle hopefully you can see this is silver let's see okay let's still go with I'll make it matchy matchy So yes, that was my all-time favorite Happy Planner. Um, and I'll go ahead and put this one right up. And one of the things I love the most about Sanya stickers, look, she's the owner of Little Annabelle's Plants, is that her stickers are on removable matte paper. So except the foil stickers. The foil stickers are not on removable mat. That was not my first happy planner. My first happy planner though that I really did like was This Is Your Year. And it was in January of 2017. Um, I had been looking at the Erin Condren and I just, I couldn't justify spending 50 to $60 on something I wasn't sure if I was going to like, but um, with, you know, four kids and 
my husband who plays sports as well as the kids and his work schedule, I needed to keep track of everything and I wanted something that was for me. Um, so I went ahead and found the Happy Planner. Actually, my mom found it on the Michaels app and um, I went and looked at it and I loved it. And I know you have seen my videos. Um, if you've been around for a while, you have seen that I have gone down the rabbit hole of the TNs as well, but I always come back to my Happy Planner. And let's see. Let's see. There's so many boxes I can't, I don't know which one I want to put down first. So you get these eight full boxes. Um, this is like a double box. And then you get the glitter headers and then you get some deco on there and it goes all the way up the page. There is no space left. So I love that. And then you get two meal plan stickers and then, oh, well, you could use it for whatever. It doesn't have to be meals. And then there is checklists and then more checklists right here. And each one has five. And then you get four half boxes. And then, like I showed before, the washi strips, but then you also get the date covers and then eight quarter boxes and then some more little headers, page flags, and then bullet points and another set of headers right there. And I also picked up this die cut of Jolene. I will probably stick her there. Oh, what I should have done is stick her here and put the meal plan up there. I might do that. And then this is a double box sticker. So I'm not sure where I will put that because as you can see, there's the double boxes right there. Let me see. Yeah, let me go ahead and move this one again and then and then it is just big enough. Jolene's hair will cover the notes section. Um, so, and I totally forgot to mention, I have a code for Little Annabelle's plans. It is Bethany25, and that will save you 25% off your entire order. Um, and she has new designs that are coming. So I'm so excited for that. Go ahead and turn this up this way so that way I can make sure I center, not just center, but also make sure to cover up the notes the right way. Okay. There we go. Look at her, isn't she so cute? Okay, now I'm going to lay down my double boxes down here on Sunday evening. Normally I try and do things chronologically morning, afternoon, and evening, but this week it'll just be a little bit different. There we go. Now there's Jolene and Lucia. And this is Annabelle. And I want to say Lola, I always get her Itzia mixed up. No, I think this is Lola. Look at that, y'all. That is so cute. I love it. Planner friends are plantastic. I have to say that coming into this community of planner babes, I could not understand why so many people would have so many different planners and so many different stickers and all that and let me tell you what it is true let's see I don't know if this is gonna work right no because since there's that 31 right there but I can save these and use these for a different one so I'm gonna go ahead and take this purple. My husband plays soccer, and this Sunday, this coming Sunday, is his 
first game of the season and he's very excited. And I have Tay Tay here to mark it off. And of course, um, these were customizable. Sanya made these for me with his team's colors. And I hope you guys can see that. Sorry if I was off camera. And of course, right after I had these um, and was getting ready to use them, they changed their uniform. But that's okay. And then her script stickers that say game day. So these are so cute. So it's Tay Tay in gray. And then my daughters also play. She starts in two weeks and then it has, this is rosy and then navy blue. So I'm so excited to use these again. We are on spring break this week, so we don't have any early or late starts. So I'm so happy for that. Oops, it was getting stuck there. Okay, so question number two is how did you get into planning? I kind of answered that one already, but I just needed an outlet for me to find something that I really liked. And it was a hobby for me and a way to keep track of all the sports, my husband's work schedule, kids' schedule, um, because I have four kiddos, um, three of which, my oldest is in high school, my other two are in middle school and elementary, but they go to K-8, so they still have, they're in the same school up until September. Then I'll have two in high school and one in elementary and then our son um, misses the cutoff date by three days so he will be home an extra year with mom and then he will go to kindergarten. I'm going to go ahead and turn this one on its side. So I got into planning to keep all of that straight and because it was just, it was an activity for me and I really like it. I have met some amazing women through here that um, I am able to visit with and talk with and if I'm having a hard day, um, I can talk with them about it and not feel judged or anything like that. And to me, that's amazing. And go ahead and keep the blue theme down here. My husband has a small surgery on Thursday or on Wednesday. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. And then my daughter has an orthodontist appointment, but I forgot to get those script stickers. So I will just use 940 morning and this one is a special one because she has had her braces on forever and so this would be the one to tell us if she gets to get her braces off so we're all super excited about that I know she's excited about it too and then I haven't laid any of these headers down before so let's do I'll do purple across the middle So there's that one, and then instead of going the same way all the way across, I thought about doing the pink, but then I have the pink right here. Maybe we'll do, no, maybe we'll go ahead and continue with the purple, so that way it doesn't interfere with anything. Okay, much better. So. And then Monday, it's kind of going to be an early morning. So we will go ahead, take the yellow. And I know there's a copy one right here, but 
If you have been around my channel for a while, you know how much I love Jolene. So I couldn't help but put a Jolene sticker on one of the quarter boxes so that I can set that for Monday morning. It's kind of wanting to go crooked. There we go. Okay, so there's that one. Question number three. What is your favorite layout? Inserts, horizontal, vertical, or hourly? That's a hard one. Um, I do really like inserts with the TNs. They're so fun because you can change them out whenever you want. But, at the same time, I always come back for the dividers. I don't know what it is about flipping through the planner and looking at the dividers and things like that. I'll also go ahead and put chores so that I can get things marked up there. Um, but I really do love the dividers. Um, hourly, I'm not so much as an hourly fan. I don't think I would know how to decorate that as nice as I would want it to look. Or if I have that much, there's certain days where I do have that much and then other days where it's like my days are empty. So I would almost... It would almost feel like a catch-22 because you use a planner to keep track of stuff, but then I wouldn't have anything to keep track of. So, I like vertical. I think vertical is my favorite. I still am, however, going to try my hand at the horizontal again after this week um, because my planner, my planner is a horizontal one for the rest of the year. Um, I got it. So, and it was this one. So, and this is what it looks like. And I really want to try how it looks. If not, I still have my squad goals one that goes through July that I will work on using that one. So, so I would have to say that my favorite is vertical. But you see so many people on Instagram that have the horizontal layout and they do an amazing job. Like I'll pencil it in um, Lupita71, I believe, and her sister, which I can't remember her Instagram name. Um, but those ladies do an amazing job. Let's see. I'll go ahead and put this one down here with all the bows. There's that one. Number four, favorite planner supplies. Well, of course it's stickers and then it's washi tape. And I love pens. When my husband gets them from work, um, if he has one that he really likes, he knows he cannot leave it because I will find it. And I have found these pen gems um, and they write beautifully. I love them. Let's see. Planner friends are fantastic. Let's put that one on Friday to like celebrate the weekend. I'm going to go ahead and put it in between a few or actually I wonder I kind of like how that looks together. They offset each other. Yeah. Okay. Because I do like to layer the stickers. Maybe we'll do it Friday into Saturday, or we'll just do it like this. Because I don't want it to be. We'll do Friday because I don't have a whole lot on Friday. There we go. 
There we go. That's cute. I like the different colors on it. There we go. And do the planner box down here. Um, and I love washi tape too. Those are, I found Simply Gilded and that was, that was a problem. But those are, stickers are the best and those things make it fun and you can decorate how you would like it. Let's see. I think we'll put it up here on Sunday, but we'll off set it. Be. And then I will save this for, actually I think I'll put that in my April, oh, yes this will fit perfect in my April monthly, oh yes I will put that there, okay sorry I'm trying to stay focused and it doesn't seem to be working. But that's okay. Okay, so now that I've done all my full boxes, the so weekend banner, which will look cute across the yellow too. I always try and oops, line up the K right in the middle so that that way That's okay. Everybody knows Saturday comes before Sunday. So we'll just leave that like that. I like that. So must haves for planning. Must haves for planning. Well, first you have to have a planner. Actually, if you don't, because you're, you know, you can't decide which planner you want or if things are tight financially, you can always just use a piece of paper and a pen and there's nothing wrong with that at all so let's see what other goodies I have in here I went through and organized these yesterday so that I could try and make things fit and make it much easier and I kind of double stacked quite a few things so we have spring break this week so we can we'll go ahead and take let's see what's on the page we'll go ahead and do no I don't want to do black because I think that would be too much so we'll go ahead and do a trip to the library on either Tuesday or Wednesday so I'll put it no, that's crooked my goodness, I'm having a day, you guys, trying to get it all. And these are the spring colors from Little Annabelle's Plans. And I love those. And I have these in the fall colors, the winter colors. I try and get them... Um, like Brittany over at Coffee Planner Mom said, because then that way, and then these are the pastels, and then back here's the fall. Because then that way, no matter what spread you have, what color scheme you're going through for the week, you always have a little Annabelle's Plans sticker that matches your spread. Let's do a green, because I need to do my nails again. We'll go ahead and do that Monday night after kids go to sleep. Thursday evening we have garbage. So I'll go ahead and lay down one of these headers right here and put the garbage out to put the trash out. Because if you're new to my channel, um, here in Portland we only have our trash picked up every other week. 
so you have to mark it. I'll go ahead and just line these all the way across. Let's get this one up real quick. So mark it because you don't want to miss trash week. Um, during the summer, it's always, it gets really hard during the summer if you forget because let's face it, we don't get super hot days, but you know, you have garbage sitting outside for two weeks and you have 80 to 90 degree weather. That's not, it's not fun and it smells really bad. So that kind of overlaps it, but that's okay. We can go ahead and take the blue all the way across. I didn't think about doing the headers that almost make it look like washi, but it works. Sorry. Sorry for my hand and my arm being all the way in the frame. Oops. So if you guys are traveling for spring break, let me know where you are headed. I would love to hear the different places um, that people are headed out to. So I can kind of vicariously live through your vacation because we are staying here as my husband has to work. Um, so I like that and I didn't, and now I'm having to pull stuff and move stuff and goodness gracious. And I am not a short nails girl. It is more frustrating for me. And um, if you saw my last video, you saw I had long nails and now this week I have super short. Um, yeah, not fun. My nail technician didn't get back to me before she left on vacation. So had to take them off because once you find an awesome nail lady, you don't want to go anywhere else. So I will just have to wait until she gets back from vacation to get them put back on again. Oh, I don't want to. Vamos a ver. Oops. Let's see if we can get it all the way across this way. Now, so we've got the W, and it's super. The script font is beautiful, but I'm afraid to rip it. Woohoo! See, so must haves for planners. Sorry, I got off track. So, yes, planner, stickers. Um, I like to have a monthly layout and a weekly. And sometimes if I'm in my TN, I prefer to have a daily as well so that that way I can have a little bit more room to write. But honestly, I just, like I said before, I keep coming back to my happy planner and I think it's just bright and cheerful. And even though oh, I bent the page a little bit, that's okay. But even though I have gone down the rabbit hole of so many different planners and things like that, like I said, I still come back to my happy planner. Oh, I bent that one a little bit. Shoot. Your stickers, you need to decide what works for you. If it's very easy to get wrapped up in how everybody else's planners look on Instagram and you can end up spending hundreds of dollars on trying to find what works for you and or 
what everybody you think everybody else would like and my piece of advice is just find what works for you and stick with that and enjoy it and if you prefer happy planner get yourself some happy planner goodies if you prefer Erin Condren get yourself some Erin Condren um, and have fun with it and remember why you started planning what you what your purpose is and why you need your planner and go from there because otherwise um, you will get lost in the shuffle of of everything and that makes it so hard um, to enjoy it and then you get frustrated and overwhelmed and things like that so just find what works for you and and go from there and number six what has planning brought into your life or made your life better planning has brought into my life some amazing women like I said before um, women that I would have never met if it wouldn't have been for this community and I will be forever grateful for that um, even though I have never in person met any of these women they're just amazing to talk to even if it's just chatting through Instagram um, or a group video chat that you weren't expecting and you had a messy bun on the top of your head and no makeup on but you still got to see and connect with people that you have been chatting with for months and it's amazing and meeting them in person would be even better but also being able to talk with them and make plans to, you know, be roomies at Go Wild and make a plan to save so that you can go and visit and meet some of these amazing women that you have been chatting with. So that is what planning has brought into my life, even with the frustrations of trying to figure out my planning style and not comparing my style to somebody else's or while wow, hers is better than mine um, maybe I shouldn't do this so that's my my two cents on it but I'm so excited because I have plans to meet up with some planner babes um, there was supposed to be a meet in my area tomorrow but um, the gal who was hosting it, she's not feeling good, so she's going to reschedule it, and so that's okay. And I will be starting a savings um, so that I can go to Go Wild, not this year, but next year, because this year it lands on my daughter's birthday, and I can't miss her 14th birthday as much as how fun it would be for Go Wild. I can't miss her birthday. So, next year, for sure. Going to take Jolene and these foil stickers. So here's the foil script laundry. And laundry Jolene. Because it's just cuter. The laundry is all the time. There's never an ending amount of laundry. So I will go ahead and put it for, nope, we'll go ahead and stick it down here. So between Friday and Saturday, um, so that way, so we have the chores up there. Maybe we will just write We'll just put the laundry right there, and then that way it's not too overloaded. I need to get some of these script stickers that say vacuum, mop, sweep. Um, I know Coffee Planner Mom came up with one called Towel Tuesday so that she could remember to do These are some of the other laundry stickers, like here's the spring palette, the fall palette, the winter one. I should get ones that say mop, vacuum, 
those good ones. And then I also have ones that say game day, late start and early release because my oldest daughter at her school every Monday is a two hour late start. Um, I just think that's an awesome idea that they did for the teenagers um, because not every teenager is like mine that is up every day at 5.30 to get up and get ready for school. Um, she just, that's what she does. She's up and ready to put a little bow right here. So it's almost like it's hanging up. Kind of layer this one a little bit. There we go. That's okay. Uh, maybe we need to move game day. to tell you how excited he is for the season to start again. There we go. Yay! Okay, so I love that. Okay, I like how this turned out. Even though this side, there's not a whole lot going on, that's okay. We don't have any birthdays this week, which is crazy. So, okay guys, I think this should do it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not hit that subscribe button already, please do so so you do not miss out on any of my future videos. Also make sure to follow me over on Instagram. I'm at plan with Bethy Dean and I will also link little Annabelle's plan so that you can check out her shop. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next week. Bye.